this is a continuation of what we were doing earlier on and uh, in, our pre in our previous class we had uh, prepared our payoff already in the question that we are handling for November 2015 question number one so looking at this case my good student the next step is now let us identify the methods that we are requested to work out to work out so to start with to start with I was given number one we are told to advise the company on the best selling price to adopt using Maximax decision rule. So the first step or the first question, the examiner wanted us to use what? Maxi Max decision rule. Maximax decision rule. And working out Maximax decision rule, if you can recall what we did earlier on when we were doing uh, this concept of uh, decision rules, we noted if I was to use Maximax decision criterion, the first thing that we are going to do, I'm going to identify our maximum. We are going to identify our maximum. And remember, we are, we are identifying our maximum based on what? Our decision alternatives. And in this case, decision alternatives, I was given the aspect of selling prices. I was given selling prices. So to do that, we identify the maximum at a selling price of 40. My maximum here, as we see, I'm having 120,000. To identify the maximum at 43, what is our maximum? My maximum is 128,000. To identify the maximum at 44, I'm given how much? 93,500. The first step. After we've identified our maximum, the next step will be to select the best of the maximum. The best of the maximum. So the best of the maximum, in our case, I'm seeing I'm having 128,000 being the best of the maximum. This is best of maximum. So if we, if we were to advise this company on the selling price to adopt using max C, max on the selling price to adopt using Maximax, comfortably we can select a price of how much? A price of 43. So at 43, if we are to advise this company on the best selling price to adopt using Maximax, I should be having the aspect of 43 shillings. That's the best selling price that they are going to adopt. So I'm done with Maxi Max. The other point, we are asked to advise based on what? Maximin decision rule. Maximin decision rule. So if we are to work out using Maximin decision rule, I'm working out using Maximin decision rule. Using Maximin, if you can remember the concept, the first thing that we need to identify is the minimums in our decision alternatives. Is the minimum in our decision alternatives. So we identify the minimum in our decision alternatives. Like in our case, the minimum here is zero. At 40, I'm seeing the minimum here is uh, zero. Talk of at 43, the minimum here is minus 10,000. Talk of uh, at 44, the minimum here is minus 56,000. After we've selected uh, the minimum, the other step will be to take or to select the best of the minimums. The best of the minimums. So the best of the minimum says so how much? I'm seeing is zero. Remember negative, any form of negative, even if it is negative one, zero is greater than negative one. In this case, I'm having negative 10 and negative 56, meaning that zero is greater. This is the best of the minimum. So I should be having best of minimums. Best of minimums. So the best of the minimums here is at zero. So this company, if they were to adopt, or rather if they were to advise you seeing the aspect of maximin, if they were to advise you see maximin, I'm seeing the selling price here is how much? 40 shillings. So they are going to adopt a selling price of 40 shillings. They are going to adopt a selling price of 40 shillings. So in that case, I've worked it out using what? Maximin decision rule. What was the next question, my good students? The next question here, the next question here, we were told we are supposed to use uh, the next question. We are told that I'm supposed to use 
Laplace criterion of rationality, Laplace decision rule. So using Laplace decision rule, using Laplace decision rule, using Laplace decision rule. What can you recall when we are doing Laplace? Laplace is a criterion whereby we assume that each state of nature has got equal probability. Has got equal probability. So come to our question here. In this case, I had how many states of nature? We had three states of nature, which in that case I'm having best possible, most likely, and worst possible. So if we were to assign probability, meaning that I should be having a third, a third, and a third, a third, and a third. So using Laplace, the moment I've identified or we've noted that each state of nature has got equal probability, now we can determine our expected returns. So let us determine our expected returns. Allow us to start with at a price of how much? We start with at 40. What will be our expected returns at 40? So my expected returns at 40 here, I should be having, I should be talking of 120,000. I multiply by the probability of that state, which is a third, plus 80,000. I multiply by probability, which is a third. Of course, plus zero, in this case, times a third. So that, as at the end of the day, that should give us our returns, which in that case, I should be having a figure for much. I'm having 120,000, my good students, times a third, plus 80,000 by a third. Of course, the other figure is zero. Of course, the other figure is zero. The other figure is zero. So in that case, I should be having a figure of 66,667. So I'm having 66,667. 66, being the first one at 40. The same procedure we are going to repeat at 43. The same procedure we are going to repeat at 43. Determining our expected returns. So in this case, I should be having 80,000. We multiply by a third plus uh, not 80,000, not 80,000 at 43. I'm having how much? 128,000. So it's 128,000. We multiply by a third. Of course, plus 93,500 by a third. Of course, plus minus 10,000 here. We multiply by a third. So that as at the end of the day, how much will we be having? As at the end of the day, I should be having a figure of how much? So I'm taking 128,000 times a third. Of course, plus, of course, plus 93,500 by a third plus minus 10,000 by a third. So that as at the end of the day, we'll be talking of how much? 7,500. 7,500. Then what about at a price of 44? What about at a price of 44? The same procedure will repeat itself. The same procedure will repeat itself. Because here I'm going to take these elements here. I'm going to take 93,500. 93,500 by a third. Of course, plus 82,000 by a third. Then plus minus 56,000 by a third. So that as at the end of the day, how much will you be having? As at the end of the day, I should be having 93,500 by a third. Of course, plus 82,000 by a third. Of course, plus uh, minus 56,000 by a third minus 56,000 by a third minus 56,000 by a third so that in that case I should be having by a third 
So I'm having a figure format. 39833. 39833. So we need to advise this company based on the decision to tell you. So the moment we do have our expected returns, of course we are going to select where we do have what? The best expected return. <coughs> and in our case, I'm seeing the best expected return, we do have it where? It lies where my price is at 43. So the best at that point I'm having 7500. That's the largest. So if this company was using Laplace decision criterion, if the company was using Laplace decision criterion, in that case, they are going to select a price of how much? At 44 shillings. They are going to select at 44, uh, at 43 shillings, sorry, at 43 shillings, at 43 shillings. So my good student, that is what we are expected to handle up to the point of Laplace decision criterion. Remember the question, you can also review it, that is November 2015. So I want you to join me in the next session whereby we are going to complete this question whereby we want to look at the final method which is Minimax, the one the examiner had requested us to compute. So join me in the next session whereby we are going to handle this part. Thank you very much and let us meet in the next session. <music>